welcome to vidyanagar online class hope you enjoyed your eid holidays so do you remember which chapter we were studying the for the holidays yeah it's fractions and decimals so we already finished fractions so today we can start decimals see you have studied decimals before uh, you have studied addition of decimals subtraction of decimals so in this year we will study multiplication and division of decimals so let us start from multiplication of decimals before that let me see whether you remember what we studied in the last year that is addition and subtraction okay so let us start with the division of the addition and subtraction of decimals okay our chapter we are studying about decimals Do you remember how we add two decimal numbers? See, twenty-four point three seven plus two point five. You want to add these two decimals, so how will you add it? Yeah, first you write the first number, twenty-four point three seven plus. Where will you write the two point five? So I told you, put the decimal first. Then after that, take the number five. Write five. Before point it is two, so write the two here. Now you add seven five plus three eight six two. Okay. Now when you are doing the subtraction, thirty four point six seven minus twenty two point zero one. So how will you do? First we write thirty four point six seven minus Put the decimal here, zero one, right? Zero one to the left side, twenty two. So then subtract seven minus one six, again six four minus two two, three minus two one. Clear? Remember, you want one more example? Okay, take twenty two point one five plus one point zero one. So first, what will you do? Write twenty two point one five plus one point zero one. Then you add it six one three two. Now next is multiplication of decimals. Multiplication of decimals. See two point two into Three. When you multiply in two point two into three, you multiply it as usual without the decimal. You multiply. So what will you get when you multiply twenty two into three? When you remove the decimal, it is twenty two, isn't it? So twenty two into three, it is sixty six. Write that number sixty six. Now see here after the decimal, there is only one digit. So in the answer, you start from the right side. And after one digit, you insert a decimal. So the answer will be six point six. Now see another example: three point one four into two. Okay, three point one four into two. See here after the decimal, there are two digits. So when you multiply, take the number without the decimal. That is three hundred and fourteen into two. Three hundred and fourteen into two is Eight two six, so six hundred and twenty-eight is the answer. In six hundred and twenty-eight, where will you put the decimal? Here after the decimal there are two digits. So from here after the decimal you take two digits one two. So the answer will be six point two eight. Now see another example two point one five. Into one point two three. Okay, two point one five into one point two three. So the first step, what you do, you remove the decimal, then then multiply. So two hundred and fifteen into one hundred twenty three. So you multiply as it is three into five fifteen. Carry over one one into three plus one four two into three six. Then again, two into five, ten. Carry over one, two into one plus three, two into two, four. 
again 1 into 5 5 1 into 1 1 1 into 2 2 so now add it 5 4 14 carry over 1 6 2 so this is the answer you got so you write it here 2 6 4 4 5 so value des insert the decimal see here after the decimal two digits are there here also after the decimal two digits are there so total four digits are there so from start on the right side one two three four insert the decimal there here you want another example now see one more example 1.4 into 1.5 okay so as, as usual multiply 14 into 15 14 into 15 it's 4 into 5 22 7 1 into 4 4 1 into 1 1 0 11 2 so right here 210 we will insert the zero decimal point yes here one digit after decimal, here also one digit. So two digits are there. From the right side start, one, two. Okay, so answer is 2.10. Hope it's clear for you. Now next, when you multiply with number with 10, 100, thousands, etc. Okay. See, without a decimal, when you multiply, how will you multiply? What is 2 into 10? You need do the usual step for multiplying with 10, 100,000 like numbers. 2 into 10 means it is 20. What did you do there? You write the number then insert it 1, 0. If it is 2 into 100, what is that? It is 200. 2 into 1000. Here three zeros are there. That's why it will be 2000. Okay. Now, when you multiply a decimal with 10, 100, 000, that type of numbers, what will you do that we will study. Now see, see 34 into, sorry, 3.4 into 10. What is 3.4 into 10? So I told you, when you multiply a decimal, first you remove the decimal and then multiply the number. So here it is 34 into 10, isn't it? So write that there. 34 into 10 is? 340. Then see, after the decimal, one digit. So from here, so it will be 34. 2.5 into 10. 2.5 it become 250. So the answer will be 25. Then when you multiply with 100, see 3.4 into 100. Now there are two zeros, so three, four. Okay, remove the decimal and multiply, you will get 3400. Then after the decimal, only one digit. So from here, you insert a decimal there. So the answer will be 340. Now see another one 2.14 into 100. Okay. 2.14 into 100. So 240. Then two zeros. So what happened here? After decimal two digits. Here also from here 1, 2. Then even you are multiplying another number. See 3.175 into 1000. So 3175. Insert three zeros. 1, Two, three. Now the decimal after decimal three digits from start from here. One, two, three. So the answer is three thousand one hundred and seventy-five. From here, whichever problem I do, you write in your notebook. Okay. So see, uh, first one zero point two into six. See zero point two into six. So I told you remove the decimal, then it become two. Two into six it is. 12. So, where will you insert the decimal? Here the decimal after decimal 1 digit. So, from here it will be 1.2. Now, next one. It is um, 8 into 4.6. Okay. 8 into 
4.6. So, first what will you do? Remove the decimal and multiply. So, 46 into 8. 46 into 8, it is 48. 4 into 8, 32 plus 4, 36. So, the answer is 368. Now, you have to insert the decimal here. Here, after the decimal, there is only one digit. So, from here, right side, it is 36.2. Now next is 20.1 into 4. 20.1 into 4. So what will you do? Multiply that. 20.1 you can take it as 201 into 4. So 408. 804. So we will insert the decimal. Here also after decimal only one digit from this side. It will be 80.4. Now next will be 211.02 into 4. Okay. 211.02 into 4. So as usually multiply 211.02 into 4. So you know 80448. So like that 84408. Now after decimal 2 digits. So from here 1, 2. It is 844.08. Now see another one. 2 into 0 0.86. 2 into 0 0.86. So first multiply 86 into 2. 12. 172. So 172. After decimal, 2 digits. So here 1, 2. 1 1.72. Okay. Now see next one. 2.5 into 0 0.3. 2.5 into 0 0.3. So will you do insert remove the decimal it is 25 into 0 0.3 means 3. So 15 75 70. Five. See, here also one digit after decimal, here also one digit after decimal. So, total two digits from here, one, two. It is 7.5. Now, next one, 11.2 into 0 0.15. 11.2 into 0 0.15. 11.2 into become 112. And 0 0.15, it is 15. So, multiply 65211 0861. So, right there, 1680. Here, one digit, here, two digits. So, from here, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Count the total number of digits after the decimal in the given numbers. Then, start from right side, count it and put the decimal. Now, another one. 1.3 into 3.1. We can do it now. So, 13 into 3.1 is 31. 3193. Okay. 10, 1, 4. So, 403. So, we will insert the decimal here. From here also 1, here also 1. So, total 2. It will be 4.1. 0, 3. Clear. Now we will do some problems with the tens and hundreds. 1.3 into 10. 10 I told you don't need to do in the whole multiplication and directly write. Write the number 30. Here 1 0. So, so here after decimal how many zero digits? 1. So from this side is 13. Now next one. 36.8 into 10. Remove the decimal line 368, then 10 here, then see how many days number after the decimal, after the decimal or read one digit. So from this side, it is 368. And one more I will do 156.1 into 100. 156.1 into 100. So remove the decimal 1561. Two zeros. Insert the two zeros. 
Now we will insert the decimal. How many digit after the decimal? There is only one digit. So from this side, one. So the answer is fifteen thousand six hundred and ten. Okay. Now we will do some word problems. A two wheeler covers a distance of fifty five point three kilometers in one liter of petrol. Then how much distance will it cover in ten liters of petrol? See, in one liter of petrol, in one liter of petrol, how much distance is covering? Fifty five point three kilometers. So they ask how much distance it will cover in using ten liters of petrol. So using ten liters of petrol, how much distance they cover? So what will you do here? Multiplication or division? Yeah, one liter is given, and to find for ten liters, it is multiplication. So, five fifty five point three into ten. So it is decimal multiplication. Now, how will you multiply that? Remove the decimal. If you are multiplying with ten, so it's very easy. Five five three. You remove the decimal and wrote the number. Then here only one zero. Put that zero. Then here after the decimal, only one digit from here. So the answer is five hundred and fifty-three kilometers. Clear? Now see the next question. The length of a rectangle is seven point one centimeter. Length is seven point one centimeter and its breadth is two point five centimeters. What is the area of the rectangle? Okay. So you need to find the area of the rectangle. What is given there? Length is given. What is the length? Seven point one centimeter. And the breadth is two point five centimeter. So the area is, you know, the area of rectangle. Area of the rectangle will be length into breadth, isn't it? Length into breadth. So here the length is seven point one and breadth is two point five. So it is decimal. Multiplication. How will you do the decimal multiplication? We can do here. Remove the decimal and multiply. Seventy-one into twenty-five. Seventy-one into twenty-five. It will be one into five five. Seventy-five thirty-five. One into two two. Seven into two forty. So the answer will be one seven seven five. One seven seven five. So you multiplied seventy-one into twenty-five. Now we have to insert the zero. Sorry, inside the decimal. Here, there is after decimal one digit. Here, after decimal one digit. So total two digits. So from the right side, start one two. So the answer is seventeen point seven five. And what is the unit of area? Yeah, it is centimeter square. So area of the rectangle is seventeen point seven five. Watch the video carefully. Do all the problems which I have done there. Then do the homework and send it to me before twelve thirty. Thank you.